Hello, it's Taylor here from Burnley Youth Theatre. Now today in our Masterclass series, we are going to be playing around with the idea of shadow puppetry, which is so exciting. Now, on our other social media channels with Burnley Youth Theatre, we have been playing with creating physical puppets using objects such as egg cartons, um, loo rolls or anything else you find lying around the house. But today we aren't going to be making physical puppets. We are going to be creating puppets using shadow. Now, shadows are all around us at any point in the day. As long as there is light, there'll be a shadow somewhere in the space. So even behind me now, you can see my head is creating a shadow on the back wall. And if I do this with my hand, you can see a shadow forming. And that really is the magic of shadow puppetry because we are going to be making shadow puppets out of anything, absolutely anything um, that you have in your home, even just using your hands or your feet, whatever you want to use. Um, so in this video, we're going to be doing this step by step so you can join along with me. So to start your shadow puppetry journey, you will need a couple of things. Um, and don't worry, we'll take it step by step and I'll give you some top tips on the things that you might need to help create your shadow puppetry story. So number one, you need a wall space. So it can be a blank wall space like what I have behind me. But if uh, where you live, you have some wallpaper or a painted wall or even a wall that has pictures on, it doesn't matter. Maybe they can be used in your story, in your shadow story um, and your characters and whatever you create via shadow could interact with them. So it doesn't really matter. It just has to be a wall that the shadow can project onto. Number two, you need a light source. Now this light source can come from a lamp. It can come from the big light in your room. It can come from a torch. Um, maybe if your torch or a, another device has um, a light source from it, just something that you can shine a light onto a wall, which will help create um, the shadow. So even though I've got a light shadow here, we need a light source to project straight onto the wall to make the shadow stronger. Now, you have your wall, you have your light source. Now is the really fun part. I'm going to challenge you to, you can either pause this video now, or you can do it after you've watched the full video. I would like you to go around your home, obviously asking for a grown-up's permission first before taking things, but I would like you to go around your home and maybe in two rooms, your kitchen, your bedroom, or your kitchen, living room and bedroom. And I want you to find at least one or two objects in each room. Um, it can be, they can be absolutely anything. Think outside the box. Find something that looks interesting because we're going to use those objects to create our shadow puppets on the back walls. Our hands are very exciting, but objects with shadows shining through can be even more exciting. So go now, go and find some objects that you can find around your house that we can use in our shadow puppetry story. Brilliant, now you've found your objects, it's time to get started. But my last top tip is to make sure before you get started that when you do have your light source shining onto your wall, you have your objects, um, you need to make sure that the rest of your room is dimly lit or has no light whatsoever. Because if there's a lot of light going on in the room, then the shadow might not be as strong. So make sure that the only light source in the room that you are in is coming from um, the light source that you're projecting against the wall or else your shadow won't be strong enough. Because if you were going to turn off the rest of your light source, this might happen. Which isn't great because now we can't see any shadows. So... Make sure your light source is facing your wall, the rest of your room is dimly lit or the lights are turned off, apart from your main light source facing your wall. Now let's get started. So now I have come out of the video, I have my light shining against my wall and now I'm going to play around with creating shadow puppets. 
So first of all, I'm just going to use my hand. Now, as you can see, when I pull my hand close to the wall, the shadow becomes very clear and almost the same size as my arm. And then when I pull it away from the wall, it becomes much bigger, but it's still quite clear. So I can do any sorts of things with my hands. I can stretch them out, I can bring them in. Maybe I could start to make my hand into a character. Very good. Maybe I could bring two hands into uh, the shadow puppet tree. Maybe we can make a bird. Maybe we can start to make uh, other creatures. Let's see what else we can make. I'm just playing here. There's no right or wrong answer, so I can create anything. Maybe a little hedgehog. Okay, so it really goes to show that you can make anything. So let's try bringing in our objects. Let's see. So before I found uh, some sunglasses. I have no idea how they're going to project onto the wall, but let's give it a try, shall we? So let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what our sunglasses project onto the wall. So they've got much bigger. Oh, that kind of looks like I'm putting them in the camera, but I'm not. They're literally being projected onto the wall right now. And let's see, maybe if I use my other hand and use a shadow puppet tree <laughs> that's something cool to play around with okay let's see what else I also picked up this coaster let's see how this will project onto the wall maybe I'll use my other hand oh Okay. Maybe this could turn into a character. Maybe this could be a snail. And turn that to snail's shell. Very good. That's really cool. Okay, let's see what else. Um hmm. I also had this race car. I wonder how this can project onto the wall. Let's see, let's start to create our shadow. Cool. <laughs> Turn into like a giant monster truck or something like that. And then maybe we can use the other hand. It could almost be like a, like a hill. So if I create a hill with my arm, I don't know how to do that, but we're all, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it looks like a hill. We're sliding down the dirt track. <laughs> Lovely. Now this is one, um, I also found a something that was clear and I wanted to see how this would look like projected onto a surface. I thought it might look quite cool. As you can see, if I put it maybe right up against the light. Oh, it's almost pro projected like a tunnel. So it can be really cool. Maybe the hand could go in. Does that change the dynamic? Hmm. Hmm. Fantastic. And the whisk. I wonder how that can look if I bring the whisk up and over. Like I said, the further away you hold the whisk or the, the item away, it becomes bigger. The closer you hold it, the smaller and more precise it will be. And it's hard for me to show um, without me physically showing you the object as well. But here, okay, here is the shadow whisk. That's not my actual whisk. Look, I can put my hand through. That's the shadow. Now, to me, that 
kind of looks um as we're using our our puppets and our shadow puppetry we're starting to think about characters or, or even just objects and to me that's sort of looking a bit like a hot air balloon so if we add maybe we add maybe this which is the coaster if i bring that to maybe the top of ah okay so it's starting to look like a hot air balloon with the coaster being the basket can we see it flying bringing it to life that's really cool i really like that lovely i really like the idea of a um of the hot air balloon with the whisk so i really want to i'm going to continue with that now um so i'm going to get my hot air balloon ready with my whisk Okay, so I've got the two together, put them close to the light so we can see it created on the wall. Now there's different ways we can bring this to life now. So we can move it as if it is in the air. We can, um, then we can start to add sound. So if I start to make a whistle sound, it's almost like the wind is blowing. Or I can make a whoosh sound for the wind to go really fast. Whoosh. Whoosh. Lovely. And we can see the whisk becoming a hot air balloon bobbing around in the sky. Fantastic. So I really like the hot air balloon shadow puppet and now um, just purely by inspiration by this hot air balloon shadow puppet I'm going to um, create a story, just a short story based on the hot air balloon and I'm just making this up as I go along which is exactly what you can do when you create your shadow puppets at home. So, once there was a hot air balloon. They were the most incredible hot air balloon in the sky. But the hot air balloon had flown around for many days and was looking at mountains and at clouds and maybe rivers that passed by. But the hot air balloon was after something a little bit more exciting. They'd gone over here, they'd flown over here. But nothing really exciting happened. But then, one day, I think something happened. A dark cloud came over the sky and the hot air balloon began to shake. They had never seen the sky so dark before. Oh dear, the hot air balloon thought. I can't see with all these dark clouds around. I can't see all the beautiful mountains, all the beautiful rivers. I took them for granted and now they're gone. I can't see anything. How am I supposed to land? I know what I have to do. I must blow as hard as I can to try and get these dark clouds away. <sighs> wow, that worked. The dark clouds have gone, it's all clear. I can see everything again. This is brilliant. I will never take for granted my view. And look, what's this? The sun, the sun has come out to say hello. Hello sun. Oh, 
Thank you so much for my journey today. Thought the hot air balloon. It's been brill. Right, I think it's time for me to head home. That's enough dangerous outings for one time. <gasps> Phew. Well, that was an exciting story we just made using our shadow puppet tree. Who knew a whisk could turn into a hot air balloon? It really goes to show the magic of storytelling and the magic of shadow puppetry because you can make a story or a character or an event from anything you find in your home. And I think that's really exciting. Today we've just seen how magical shadows can be, how exciting they are. And I think if you make um, a shadow puppetry or if you make a shadow puppetry story, I would really, really like to see them come to life. You can send a clip or an image to our email address, our Instagram or our Facebook at Burnley Youth Theatre. We'll leave all the description in the description box down below. Um, so thank you, thank you so much for joining in today and I really, really hope you enjoyed the video today. I've really enjoyed making it and I look forward to hearing any comments you may have on our masterclass today. So thank you, thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!